we have a bug. Um, I failed to wait. This one failed to actually use weight. Silly me. I just did zero. And I saw that because this this CPU monitor was like, you're using lots of CPU. Never underestimate having system monitoring in the background. If this will, yeah, so good to have this information just one click away or two clicks in that case. <laughs> anyway, back to the task at hand. Okay, um, so that creates a ball. We want to initialize the balls. Guess yep. So yeah, that'll be something called in in it game. In it balls. You you know what? I I can't deal with this name anymore. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna call it something else. Uh, where are we? Where are we? This one. Let's call it. What else is there? Um, can't call it object because that's something used by JavaScript. We'll call it circle. Circle. Yeah. Circle. Is what it will be. Um, I don't know if I save that, so I gotta save that before I close it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't save anything, so good thing I did that. Circle. Yeah. Much more, like, not as mind grinding to say with a straight face. God, what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, init circles, process circles. Draw circles. Right. So that was init circles, blah 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 blah. Process and draw. So this this will cover like everything inside circle list. Uh, so init circles will start off circle lists. That's um, you know you can have like the number of circles in. So let's start it off with say two hundred. Two hundred should be good. Okay, so two hundred. It'll add two hundred circles into the list. But two hundred came from that. Yeah, <laughs> that would that would be very silly. Huh, okay, how big should they be? And where should they go? Should there be parameters? You know what, for now, nah. Just, just have n as the number and then these can be wherever. Okay, so let's put these on separate lines because it'll be too long otherwise. Uh, I foresee another function I'll need to create. Here for the dx and the dy, I'd like to use this a function like this. So deviate for which will go between plus or minus four. And yeah, so and radius can be let's say between four and um, four and eight. Right, so let's make deviate. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of this kind of just little math functions around the place, which aren't in math as far as I know. It doesn't have deviate, so I'm just gonna make another file for that. And let's call that one utility. So we can check. Deviate in here. Yep, 
so that will be between negative x and x randomly. Okay, what are we up to? So this set up all the circles. Now we want to process the circles. Whoops. They can do nothing for now. Wait, wait, no. They can move since we have a dx and dy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for I in circle list. Circle equals circle list. Oh, gotta do vi. Right, so circle. Hmm. I may as well give it a process function. and a draw function for individual circles. So yeah, you can just do circlist i dot process. Makes it a little bit nicer. This dot x plus equals this dot dx. Alright, so when we draw the circle, what do we want the circle to look like? Uh, it's just going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a circle, isn't it? Okay, so context dot stroke style equals. Um, let's make these circles uh, filled in. So we'll draw in the filled in part first, and then draw the outline next, so that the outline bit, which goes over the filled bit, actually goes over and doesn't get over overridden. So we'll do fill first. Make them white. White circles with black outlines. Give us some space. X, Y, radius. Wait, this dot X, this dot Y. This dot radius. Uh, start angle, end angle. And anti clockwise, which doesn't matter. Cool. And for the stroke, let's make the stroke size a little bit bigger. Yeah, three or something. Make it look okay. And that should now be stroke. And will this work? Do I do I call those functions? I call this yeah. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Oops. Open. Oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? <laughs> oh dear. Oh my CPU usage is massive as well. Why is that? I thought I fixed that. Oh dear. It does that. Frame weight is not nothing. <laughs> I'm a little confused now. Alright, I'm going to pause this video while I work this out. Sorry about this. Oh, in fact, I've don't have much time left in the video, so I'll just end it here and fix this up in the next one. See